Hey guys, and welcome to my art studio tour. If you guys don't know, I recently filmed a studio makeover tour of this room probably three or four months back, so make sure you watch that before you watch this one. But I've definitely made lots of changes since then, you know, painted the wall, moved my desk around, did a lot of little improvements, and now I'm finally ready to show you guys this little space. I would like to call this space like modern meets boho aesthetic if that makes any sense to anyone. But I'm sure sooner or later, I will be changing more stuff around. But for right now, I do love the way it looks. So I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet and let's get right into the tour. So I'm gonna show you my favorite part of the room first as I just think this deserves to be at the beginning of the video because it is just mm, chef's kiss. I love it so much. So it is this side of my room. Like, okay, we walk in the door and then we do a 360 and we have the plants and then we have the mirror and my painting station. So we're gonna start at my desk and then the pegboard and then we're gonna move over and go all the way around. All right, all right, okay. So obviously this is where I spend the most amount of time at my desk. I have it facing towards the wall because I used to have it facing towards the window. I noticed like if I'm painting or something, my paint drives so fast because it's right in front of the window and I get distracted. Maybe you should just like look outside and uh, procrastinate on anything that I'm working on. So that's why I moved it towards this wall. But anyways, so right next to my desk, I have this giant peg board filled with stuff so I'm gonna show you what's on that so I have obviously this paper towel holder I have little things of washi tape right here on this little hook I have all of my gouache and then I have all of my acrylics on the bottom my airpods a picture of me I do have some markers over here a shit ton of scissors rulers a straight edge and two of these types of rulers and then I have some color swatches from bear that I just like to keep there for inspiration Move Moving over, I have some juxtaposed magazines that I like to keep to look at. And then above the magazines, I have another one of these embroidery hoops that I recently did. And then moving down, I have this painting that I did last year at school. Just a two-headed figure. I think it looks pretty cool. But that's pretty much it for my pegboard. Okay, so we're sitting at my desk now, and this is pretty much like what I look onto is this very blank wall. The wall is very blank right now, but this is what, you know, I just like look like when I'm sitting, you know, like drawing in crap, procrastinating, looking outside, admiring my plans, like crap like that. <laughs> Let's do a mini plant tour because I know what you guys came for. The plants right here. We have my Monstera plant that is water propagating. There are so many roots and I'm gonna have to plant it in some soil soon, but I'm waiting for like mid April to start replanting all of my plants in bigger pots because I just want it to be like super duper nice out before I start doing that. The next little plant I have is this cute little succulent. My sister's boyfriend's family gave me this plant. How nice are they? Who needs your own boyfriend when you can have your sister's boyfriend's family give you gifts? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if any of y'all go on the TikTok. I found this girl and she put up this video of how to grow an avocado tree. So, you know, I'm here trying to grow a freaking avocado tree. Like, catch me in 15 years with an avocado tree because that's when they actually fruit. <laughs> So I have mine currently in this container, waiting for like the little sprout to like spread out the butt. I'll give you guys some updates on that when it actually happens. But right here I have my Wandering Jew. I love this one, especially like right when it's like morning time around like nine o'clock. The leaves are just so gorgeous. Purple on the bottom and they're sparkly and they like look like a zebra because they have like stripes on them. Let's get up now and I'll show you guys my favorite thing, which is my Majesty Palm. You know, winter was not good to this plant at all. I was going through a little bit of a rough time. I neglected my plants. I forgot to water them. And honestly, like this one almost died. But we are starting to thrive again. Spring is coming. We are hydrating ourselves. We are getting the vitamin D we need. We're starting to come back to normal. Everyone feel the same way? Because I'm so glad it's spring. It's actually unbelievable. Okay, so now that we're at like my plant station, this is actually a bar cart that I found on the side of the road. It's just like a regular old card I have like my drawing board that I like to keep on top of it just to like keep it out of the way but it only has like these two little shelves 
first shelf just has a bunch of sketchbooks that I like to keep out and if I want to grab them I can. Then underneath I don't have anything too crazy. I have some air dried clay, some gesso, a proportion wheel, um, a watercolor wheel, and just some acrylic paint that my friend got me. So nothing too crazy on this shelf but I do love it because it has these gold wheels and gold is definitely an accent color for my studio. And it just like looks really cute next to my plants. After my plants, my second favorite part of this room is this little prism crystal thing that I have right here. They just form the most beautiful rainbows like all over my studio. And I just love it so much. It just like, it honestly brings me so much joy just to see like little rainbows all in my studio. I don't know why. There's just something about it that is just so magical and beautiful and I just love it. But after my plants, we have this beautiful painting station and this. <laughs> this mirror that I got for $50 at a thrift store. It is cracked in a couple of places, but I think it just has so much charm. I'm not sure what this like embossing is on the side. It either looks like corn or like a type of wheat. I'm not 100% sure, but I just love the way it looks in my room. It just gives the room a little bit more of pizzazz. You can kind of see what my room looks like in the mirror. Gorgeous, like me. Let's cut that out, that is. Next to the mirror, we have Tree of Life that my sister made me for my birthday out of macrame. Talented? Yes. And then moving down, I stole this from school. It's like a work of art itself. It was definitely someone's palette, but you know, your girls scoff that up. So I was like, I need to have that. It's so pretty though. Like, look at it. Absolutely love it. This is what I like to call my painting station. This is where I keep all of my painting supplies. Even though I like to dabble in a lot of different like creative endeavors, painting has always been like my number one thing that I think like I'm good at. So I like to dedicate like a whole little region to my painting supplies. So I have my palettes right here. I use this plate for acrylic usually. And then I have this big palette for oil paint. I have my Windsor Newton watercolors. I have my Maya Hemi palette here. Three cups for water, lots of brushes. And then I have some oil medium, some turpentine and some oil thinner, some more paint brushes, some charcoal, nothing like too crazy over here. The last thing I have to show you guys is my closet. I don't think I showed any part of my closet in my studio makeover because it was actually such a freaking mess. But now I finally got it like organized in a somewhat decent way. So I'm gonna set you guys up and then I will show you guys what's in the closet. I usually keep my two paintings over here because I can't physically fit them in the closet because they're ginormous. So usually I always move them like right in front of the cat box. So they're just like out of the way. So I have this big one that I've been working on for probably a year, maybe more. Have I finished it? Obviously not. Will I finish it? Probably not. <laughs> and then this one was from when I entered in museum recently, but okay. Let's open the closet. So honestly, you probably came and see, I'll get a close up, but this closet is filled to the brim of stuff. I have this little shelving unit thing right here that has like my paintings, my prints, my doodles, and just like a bunch of other stuff. This corner is dedicated to a bunch of paintings that are like came out through the years. This is like five years worth of paintings in this closet. Um, candles, workbooks, fabrics, um, just like books, terrarium, junk a shit ton of canvases i'll show you guys a little preview right now of what it actually looks like in here okay so this corner has literally like five years worth of painting if you move over here we have more paintings and more paintings and then i have so many canvases like in this little square area this was the shelf that i was talking about just has like lots of drawings from color and design lots of like little doodles more paintings. That was like my first ever video. <laughs> Um, more drawings, you know? Just like a bunch of stuff. Really can't get rid of everything because just like have a sentimental value to every single thing I have in my life. At least minimalists. I can't relate. I can't, I can't do it. Not hating on minimalists, but like I wish I could be like you, but I literally can't. Close up my closet once again, because I just hate looking at this thing. It is just so jam-packed but one day i really hope to have a studio again because it is just like i just like need the room and i would love to like be able to like 
teach classes in it to people and like just like have like fun you know like paint nights in it like that would honestly just like be the ultimate goal for me moving forward in my artistic career so i think that pretty much completes the studio tour i personally love this room now you know i'm content with this room i'm happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this little studio tour um i know you guys only came for the plants and you but you stayed for me so i really appreciate it anyways i hope you guys have a nice day week night really whenever you're watching this let me know you know what you guys want to see next i definitely have a lot of videos in mind but i would love to hear some feedback on what you guys would like to see so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye